So you start this bikini top making a magic ring, two loops, and put through like this, take out of your finger, then one, two chains, and fourteen double crochets. It's gonna be fifteen counting with the two chains. So two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and then pull it and make one single crochet in the first double crochet and yeah, one single crochet and then two chains. On this next row, we have to have 25 double crochets, so I'm gonna you know, randomly increase the stitches. Like every two or three I'm gonna make, you know, two double crochets in the same double crochet from before. So 25 in this row. And then the next row I'm gonna make 40 double crochets. So first row 15, second row 25, third row 40. So we finished your row with 40 double crochets on the third row. Fourth row is going to be two chains. Always these two chains I'm going to count as a double crochet. And seven more double crochets, one each double crochet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two chains, and then eight again, starting from the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two chains, eight more. You're gonna repeat eight double crochets, two chains around the entire circle. And then on the last two chains, you're gonna single crochet on the first double crochet and then this next row you're going to start increasing so you're going to make two chains and one two double crochets on the next stitch so you should have like 10 double crochets in each just in in between each two chains so three four five six seven eight nine and just before the two chains I'm gonna increase one make the two chains again and then I'm gonna increase on the first one right after the two chains as well so I have ten every time and I'm gonna repeat that all around again ten in between and the next few rows the next rows like from I'm gonna have for a small so for a small size I'm gonna have two four two four five for a small size 
I'm going to have eight rows, nine for a medium and ten for a large. And then after that, I'm gonna we'll finish with the, the other stitch. So from now on, all the next um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the next four rows gonna be so we're gonna have um, ten double crochets just before the two in between the two chains, and then twelve, fourteen, uh, sixteen. Before I said it was um, eight. 9, 8 for a small, 9 for a medium, 10 for a large, it's actually 7, so 2, 4, 6, 7 rows. Um, last one we're gonna finish 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 in between each two chains. That's gonna make the same dollar um, look. And then after that you're gonna start making the lace part around it. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, so seven chains. And you're gonna skip one, two, three, four, and on the fifth you're gonna make a single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and one, two, three, four, and fifth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I always make here if it's close enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Don't worry too much if it's sometimes you can have like four or five because at the end here the last stitch needs, needs to be here and that is because we're gonna make the, the, the bottom line starting from here. So you're gonna make this repeat the seven chains and single crochet all the way to here. On the last, last uh, few chains from this row, we're gonna make one, two, three, four, and then a triple crochet in the chains. One, two, three, because then you have like you know you can start the next row straight from here. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you're gonna turn, and then you're gonna make one single crochet in the next arch, seven, again, seven, and the next arch, and repeat that all the way to the end. So at the end of my second row, I'm gonna make another triple crochet in the arch. And I'm gonna make one more row of seven chains around my top, around the One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one single crochet. So you're gonna finish this row with that uh, triple crochet and then you can cut the yarn. After you complete the second piece, 
I've, I finished the last row with seven chains and a single crochet in the last arch. And now I'm gonna make uh, a row of double crochets to connect both uh, sides. So you start with two chains. One, two, and make double crochets in the chains. It's around one stitch every stitch you have from before. So you make one double crochet, each double crochet all the way on this side and then in between the, the both sides you are going to make six chains and join to the other double crochet the first side you're gonna make one two three four five six chains and make sure they are both on the same side yeah? okay so this finishing has to be to the right side when you're looking at it so six chains and then one double crochet here on the beginning of your other side. Okay, so after this first row of double crochets, I'm gonna make two more double crochet rows. One double crochet each double crochet. One double crochet each chain here. And then and then I'm gonna go around making the strings. So after finishing two more rows of double crochets, here, I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six chains and single crochet here on the beginning of the first double crochet row this is gonna be where I'm gonna uh, put my my strings from so one single crochet here one chain and then you turn just to make it more strong I'm gonna go on top of it with single crochets doesn't need to be the same number one chain here I'll turn again so this you know this doesn't tear off from using because you're gonna put the string through here and you know, more here and then one more on the next arch so here i'm gonna make four single crochets this first one because it's smaller three and then four and then i'm gonna have four in each arch two three four and then one on the top of this one and then one two three four all the way all the way to the middle here see because in the middle here 
I'm gonna make the strings. Okay. So when I got here, right in the middle of the first uh, part of the top, you know where the middle is, because it's on top, exactly on top of the the chains here. So when I got here, I made my last single crochet right on top of this single crochet, and then I made um, 200 chains string that's gonna cross on the back and go to this side. So if you have a um, size medium, you should do two 250 chains. If you have a size large, I would say it's good to make 300 chains. Um, now after the 200 chains, you're gonna, you're gonna turn and on the fourth chain from the hook, you're gonna make a single crochet. Fourth chain from the hook, single crochet. And then one, two. You're gonna skip one, two here. Single crochet on the third one. One, two. Skip one, two single crochet on the third one one two single crochet and repeat that all the way until you back here okay so when you back here you're gonna make a single crochet right here and keep going with three, four single crochets, one, four, one, until here in the middle where I'm gonna explain again. So when you get to this last arch here, you're gonna make one, two, three single crochets, and then one, two, three, four, five chains, and you're gonna count in the middle one, two, three. Make a single crochet here, right in the middle. And then one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five chains again. And right in the middle here. One more. And you're gonna repeat the same you did on the other side. Four chains, four single crochets, one on the top, and repeat all the way to here. Where here in the middle you're gonna have again 200 chains back and then when you get here you repeat this the same you did here on the other side six chains and then back and again with single crochets to make it stronger and then you can finish your top so this is the top ready um, if you want to cross these strings on the back, you actually need 250 chains on a small, 300 on a medium, 350 on a large. Uh, otherwise, you have to use just like this. But I prefer to cross on the back, so 250 chains here. And that's your top ready to go to the beach. You just have, I just have to, you know, finish this little, this little piece of string here, which I normally just, I normally do on the wrong side here, I do one more little 
not here so it doesn't come off and then just put through a few times here and cut it off this one you just pull it tight and cut it off here one open same with all the other ones and then your top's ready to go hope you enjoy your project